In the year 2040, one hero fights to save our dying planet, the Phantom. cells and don't even think about thinking. I've got all the news you need to know. Hot, fresh, and pre-digested. Right after these important bursts. Look at all of you down there in your clamor and chaos, playing out your silly little dramas. Who'll remember any of you in a hundred years? Who'll care? You're every bit as disposable as... I am. Ah, oh, Baudelaire. With such a feeling of release to a disaster. Max! What are you doing in there? Bringing history alive, Mother. The Sector Zero crash? But how did you know about the chemical? Those files you stole from me! You said I wouldn't be able to crack their codes. But your kid could. Some of them, at least. Voila! The formula for Father's scythe. The purple fizz of death. Grout! Get a hazmat team up here to clean up that poison! Don't you know it's not a toy? Really? Baudelaire thinks the play value of a deadly chemical is quite high. Pack your bags! We're going on a trip, and I want to keep my eye on you and erase that formula. It's not on a secure system. Cheer up, kid. If you like disasters, <laughs> you're gonna love where you're going. Sparks rolls the dice. Ooh, Sparks rolls the dice again. Man. I give up. Analytical. Dredge for any file in the maximum system that's not protected. Specify files. How can I specify when I don't know what I'm looking for? Just do it! File dredged under username Madison Maxwell Jr. Whoa. What is that? A chemical formula. For what? Compound unknown. Then it's time we stopped skating and started cooking. Okay, what's the final ingredient? Cordrazine. That's tricky stuff, but... Go ahead, pour it in! And what a waste of... Sparks, what? Garan, get back! Yeah, but it's got us! Yeah, I know. Start at the beginning, Sparks. I do not like this place. What has drawn me here? I hear a voice in my mind. Ride the nightmare, Cairo, and return to tell of it. What can it mean? <sighs> that formula. I have my answer now. I can go home. 
This formula is almost the same as the toxic chemical spilled in Sector Zero 16 years ago, except this version is even more deadly to life forms, killing not in hours, but in minutes. If there's more data in that file, yes, location coordinates. Those data are mine. Put that information back into the system, Cairo. It's not like you to steal. How can I steal what is already mine? What I have searched my whole life for, not even knowing that I was searching until I found it. Trace his signal. Look, we can work out a deal the way we always do. I might share the data with you, if in return you were to help me find my way home. Aren't you transmitting from there now? Hey, he's not transmitting from anywhere. I mean, he's here, in the circuitry, but he's nowhere else. You're a program? A cyberspatial entity, please, floating on an endless sea of data. But who created you? Alas, to my unending sorrow, I cannot recall. I only know that I am being summoned to my creator, to my home. But I don't know where home is. I think maybe I can help you. I'm going to tap into your unconscious mind. Uh, assuming you've got one. Somewhere in there we should find your first memory. And that should be who made you. Thank you for your kindness. Well, you helped me find out about my parents. We're getting something. I will create an artificial intelligence probe with your own thoughts and emotions, you'll be ripped apart, shattered. I don't care! Do it! That is my creator. Dr. Jack? Location found. Returning now. So that's the bite and nothing but, Metropia. Yeah, what the... Creator, I bring what you have sought. Cairo's known my real identity since the first day we met. And now he's taking that information straight to the one person who can transmit it to the world. Dr. Jack. Get a lock on him, Sparks. Pull him back here. you need you and 200 million other fans but i am cairo yeah i've heard of you you're some kind of information broker no i am the probe that was created from your mind what that probe was destroyed no i was merely lost in the data systems and now i have returned to you with the information you sent me to find put it here now Sorry, Doctor. Phantom, give him back to me. Why, so you can sell my secrets for ratings? I don't care about the ratings. Not this time. Ah! This is about my life and what was done to it. So tell me. You come to me in person, and I'll show you. I'll consider it. Release me. I have never been confined. This data cage will hold him. Uh, look, I'm sorry about this. I can make it worthwhile for you not to deal with Dr. Jack. This is not about deals. I must go to him to be completed. And unless you release me, I will erase your data system. Then I don't have a choice. some help with this one. When I was a boy, all the people I knew were people. I have got to get the data on that maximum chemical somehow.
Well, you might be able to salvage the file if you deleted Cairo's personality matrix from around it. But that would be murder. There, there, my dear. If Cairo has become self-aware and is, in fact, a living creature, then I quite agree with you. But for now, turn your hearing down to level two and leave everything to us. Once we get back to the lair, it's possible we can retrieve the data without harming Mr. Cairo. I hope so, Prof. Phantom, I regret we must meet again under such circumstances. Heisenberg! I'll call Garand to start tracking him. Don't bother. I know where he's going. You needn't look outward, Doc. Pev? Cairo, as a living entity, you have the right to choose your path. I choose to unite. Yes! Be certain. It may be hazardous for the two of you to merge after so much time has passed. I, I know, know what, what I, I want. want. Looks like we're of one mind. But once I connect this memory cylinder, it cannot safely be removed. Why are you always interfering? I know how to settle this. I never knew that was there. Some things are private, Pav. Even from you. No tricks, Phantom. Not this time. Who is she? She looks familiar. She was my wife, Pavlova. That's right, Pav. I built you, programmed you to bring back the past. But you insisted on being your own person, just like her. To see if the funds intended for homeless children had been used instead for the mayor's personal gain. New paragraph. Oh, no one's going to be interested in that, Doc. It's too complicated. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I've got a lead on a big story. It's some kind of illegal shipment coming into Grand Central tonight. Should be exciting. And that's what people want in their news today. Entertainment, not education. It makes their brains hurt. I uh, wouldn't mind some company. <laughs> that's tabloid stuff. Maybe, but I'm still going to try to sneak onto that train. <laughs> My story's too important. Oh, you're a dreamer, Doc. I guess that's why I love you so much. <laughs> I'll see you at home. So I finished the stupid story while my life drained away. was nothing I could do. I became obsessed. I had to know what had killed her, where that deadly chemical had come from. But the more I dug, the more the answer eluded me. I needed access to forbidden data systems, but there was only one way to do that. Get myself some wetware on the red market. My dear boy, the operation you want is illegal and and very dangerous. I will have to drill cranial jacks directly into your living brain. I will create an artificial intelligence probe with your own thoughts and emotions. You'll be ripped apart, shattered, until it returns. I don't care. Do it! I, I can see it forming! Enforcers! As far as I knew, the probe was destroyed, and I was left like this, half my mind torn away for nothing. 
But Cairo wasn't destroyed, just not fully formed. He got away into the data lines, but he didn't know where he came from or what his purpose was. All he knew was that he was driven to know everything. <laughs> like me, Phantom. I don't care what your secrets are. I just want justice. I'm whole again. And now I know. That formula came from maximum research. It's for a poison that dissolves all living tissue into its component elements, killing everything. And they're making more of it. Much more. Where? New Brazil, the eco-preserves. The rainforest. I've got to stop them. We've got to stop them. And then tell our story to the world. Whoa, the eco-preserves of New Brazil. This is where I wanted to work when I finished university, before I met Garan. If it weren't for the protection of the domes, the rainforest would have died out years ago. Phantom. One dome is not what it seems. It's got a hologram of the rainforest projected on its surface. So what's really inside? We'll find out when we disable that projector. You two get an uplink ready. The Dr. Jack show is going to have an exclusive. The test is ready, Ms. Madison. Then call the scout teams in. I don't want them damaged. The smart charge is set. Let's get out of here. Was that the fuel tanks? Not yet. Get down! The hologram is down! That's a chemical factory, all right. We go live and full photonic in five minutes. Are you okay? Maybe we should hold off. No! Nothing stops this show. Not after what it cost me and... her. Oh, good. It's so much better if you're awake. You see, my husband invented the most wonderful chemical. He called it his scythe, because it cuts down everything, leaving the earth clean, unspoiled, and ready to be healed by the Maximum Era. We have just one more test to complete. Think of it as your own sneak preview of the Maximum Era. You can't do this, Rebecca. Hold that thought. A minute to showtime. <laughs> How's my hair? Wait, go back! <gasps> we gotta save them! No! If we move, we lose the uplink! My wife didn't die for nothing. This will avenge her! What, by killing them? She'd want that? Think about it fast, or they're gonna die just like she did. Pavlova, forgive me. Rainforest isn't. You're right, Graft. Oh, I do love a good disaster. That won't stop the Maximum Era, but it should postpone it for a while. What? Graft! The analyticals have detected an unauthorized uplink. Metropia, it's time to wake up. This is Jack, and I want you to listen to the most important news story you'll ever hear. Maximum Inc. is plotting to destroy the world's ego. Your signal isn't going out! You fools! When was the last time you saw a news story that said something bad about a mega corporation? 
The mega corporations own the networks, Doctor. No. Oh, yes? Who do you think turned news into entertainment in the first place? Heisenberg was right. Too much time has passed for us to rejoin. We must separate or die. Not if I have anything to say about it. Can you help him? I'm not certain. What is happening? My subcomponent is attempting to separate their minds neuron by neuron. From one, two again. I failed you, Pavlova. Dr. Jack, I know how you feel. You have no right to say that. You don't know everything. I don't know anything. Pavlova, you must follow your heart now that you have one. It still seats two, doesn't it? I am troubled, Phantom. Because he shared knowledge with Mr. Cairo, Dr. Jack now knows too many of our secrets. You needn't worry. When I left him, I took those data with me. He is as he was. It's best for all of us, I think. You're a wise man, Cairo. I am neither. Just a program that has outlived its purpose. Then you must find a new one. Walk with me. Phantom, I owe you payment for your help. Accept this gift of information which I have kept secret from Maximum Inc. for years. There is an old biot buried in the ruins of Grand Central Station. Its memory core will show you the truth of what happened to your father in the Sector Zero crash. May what you learn bring you peace, though I fear it will not bring you happiness. Good night, Metropia. Sleep well, if you can. And know that you have friends. Thank you.